Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of Dr. Elisa. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one. No, behind your babe. I was hot though. I was hot. Yeah, because don't you think that's fucked up? Who the hell put out a thing for her to get killed, though? What? Damn. Yeah, go on, go. Why his smile so sweet? Even though I still don't trust him like that. Because, I mean, I don't think he was the one who planned everything. He said he overheard those two. But it does make me wonder, once again, who set the freaking reward or really the kill out for her? Like, damn. Damn. He'll surely die.
What? Jesus Christ, that has to be a lot of work. Yeah, that could possibly even kill him as well. And the thing is, regardless if he dies... Blood's on her hands. He has to ask her for the... He, she has to ask him for the biggest thing. That is almost literally close to killing him. She has to do everything that she can. Then we have to try. It's probably going to be the most stressed I'm going to be in for this dang series. scared oh shit then what else is it if there's no blood clot What is that? A tumor? Mm-hmm. He's okay.
Hyvä. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, part, that took a lot out of him. Mm-hmm. Let's give it some time. Aw, of course. Of course. <laughs> Once again, her handwriting is still not the best. <laughs> but she's still good at her ish.
You know, yeah, just wanted to check on ya. That's good. I mean, but everybody makes mistakes. Right. This was a damn good show. I mean, like, a good behind 10 out of 10. Very different from majority of the isekai, you know, villainous. As, once again, as I said with the other uh, seven-time loop, I eat that ish up. It is like my bread and butter. It is like my guilty pleasure. It's my comfort shows that I love oh so freaking much. But these last two really set the bar for a lot of them, though. And it makes me truly excited to see what is next in store for some of these villainous isekai shows. Um, because I don't think next season has any. And I'm honestly okay that we're skipping a season where it's not. Because sometimes it can be a little too repetitive. But it, it's, a re it's repetitive in a good way. I will say that. I love how, once again, this series was about proving not only to herself but to others, men, women, whoever, saying that I can do this. Let me try. And she's done it like 
but beautifully and phenomenally, and I really have to applaud her on this. And even though their deal is not really done, but in my opinion, it feels like it's done. Like, she's already established herself well beyond and proved herself to the king so freaking much that, I mean, still, even the end, her and Lyndon, they could still be together. She can still have the best of both worlds and still be a doctor and an empress at the same time, but I still think, regardless, she will still choose to become a doctor at the end of the day. Now, with hey, with the prince's old, older or younger? Yeah, no, older. Him. Now, I mean... He, he is still suspicious. We know he is the one who was the traitor. So, you know, he, he's still, I'm a little iffy with him about this. But if this was to potentially get a second season, I would like to see more, not only of her proving herself, becoming more um, skillfully as a doctor, studying more on her skills and everything else, and making, becoming an even better doctor and such, because there is a, like, with uh, whatever career you're in, you're always still studying from what I've heard from my mom, friends, family, whatever, regardless. Um, you're just becoming a better version of yourself than you were at the time when you started. And I think, you know, if it did potentially get something, another second season, then we could see something in an even grander scale for Elise. And then, of course, you know, more, more romance and more friendships along the way for her. But this was a really interesting series. I will definitely miss it. I mean... For a not only villainous isekai, but also a medical drama-esque series and going more in-depth into certain illnesses and the um, the causes of some of these illnesses. It's very, like, I really enjoyed this a lot and such. I don't know much, but I feel like after watching this, I did learn a lot more and such where, like, I, I know okay, well, I know the causes of X, Y, and Z and such. Even though I don't want to go into the career of medical stuff, I would still want to do, like, either medical billing or, like, medical receptionist or something like that. But in a way, you still have to know those terms and everything. But no, this was a damn good series. Like, 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. I would Hell, I would even have my mom watch this. I think a lot of other medical um, animes um, definitely would love to see my mom's thoughts and opinions on this as well. But, because the biggest thing is that my mom is now done, as she's been working as a CNA for so many years. Um, anything that we watch now, she would literally have, like, oh, that's the medical term of this. And then I will literally pause the show, and I'll be like, okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss Doctor over here, even though you're not a doctor, you're just a CNA. But thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I need to know that today. But no. Very, very good. Probably, like, the, uh, as I said, this was my, I would still say this is my anime of the season, but this was definitely underrated, but a good underrated at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of Dr. Elise. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next week for the start of spring anime and then, you know, eventually for anything else that comes out. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.